Hey guys, Mohan Pobear here, and today I'm going to share with you why I think that you should never copy your business competitor. Let's get to it. So, hey guys, if you're new to this channel, my name is Mohan Pobear, and I'm here to share with you and document my journey in business. I've been involved in many of them over the last few years. Some of them made a lot of money, some of them lost a lot of money. I'm here to share my process, my journey, and hopefully you, you'll learn some of it. And yeah, I just like to document, and I hope to see myself in a few years and look back and just see where I am at what my thinking level what's my mindset and i know that i wish that i started this few years ago so now it's an opportunity for hopefully some of you to learn and for me to just document what i'm doing so if you're new to this channel like subscribe comment below let me know what you think i'm here to mostly show you that there's two different ways to grow a business most people don't talk about it there's a way to grow your business organically which is doing more sales more marketing more r d um, better operations and there's another way, which is to go and buy a business, to buy your competitors, to buy um, other complementary businesses. Most small business owners don't know that it's even possible to grow your business by acquisition because that's usually something that only the big companies are doing. But I'm here to show you that you can do it literally from the moment that you're like at six figures. You can easily go and buy a seven-figure business and grow your business in hundreds of percentages literally in the moment that you bought it. So, yeah, this is what this channel is all about. If you want to hear more about that, like, subscribe and all that, see the links in the description below for a free mastermind that we have on Facebook and for a link for you to send me your questions, you put your details, and I'm basically um, creating those videos based on that. So do that right now. And that's it for your introduction. And now let's go to today's topic. So today I want to explore something that I see many people talk about, which is um, basically go and copy other competitors, go, there's a... Um, what people call go and funnel hack that guys and and go and copy your competitors and do exactly what they're doing and just copy it and hopefully it will work for you so i have a few thoughts about it first of all i think that as an overall idea it's wrong uh, first of all just because we don't want all the world to be a copycat of each other we want everyone to bring their own value to the world um, the second thing is uh, based on what i see people copy without the understanding of the back end, which means many people copy a specific funnel or a sales process or a marketing process, but they don't understand that there is very, for hopefully for good businesses, there's calculations on the back end on what needs to happen in that funnel. So for example, I see people go and copy, for example, a book funnel or um, whatever, a small product, a tripwire funnel and they don't understand they expect to have x amount of profitability but they don't understand that the business that they're copying that funnel from potentially have oh, understanding that their numbers can be different so for example let me just give you an example right let's say you're a new business you're trying to copy a funnel that is selling a product for 50 bucks and you think that you're going to be profitable on that funnel and i'm here to tell you first of all it's really hard to do that with a small product like that and they don't understand that the people that they try to copy it from many times are already a big business that's existing for a while. And they know that they can bring a new client even if they're losing some money on that funnel. And they know that on the back end, in a few months from now, they will make that money back. And they can afford it because they have the budget and they have the cash flow forecasting. And then they understand that they can lose 10 bucks on the front end on that funnel now, but in a few months from now, they'll make $20 back or 30 or whatever the numbers are, right? And I see people who are new in business who try to copy those funnels and they, they don't understand why they're not profitable from day one, why they're losing so much money and they're literally destroying their business that way because they think that because those guys are doing that funnel, it should work for them as well. And they don't understand there are lots of different business module models on the back end. They, they just can't even see at this stage when they just try to copy the front end. So that's just one example on why you shouldn't copy hack or funnel hack your competitors. So don't do things if you don't have the full picture. And I see so many people and it's so frustrating who literally spending so much money on trying to copy different funnels or trying to do this funnel or that funnel or sell that product or that service. And they don't have the full picture. They don't have, they don't understand the business model and they can waste so much money on testing different advertising platforms, different funnels, different conversion methods. And you can just use that money. And I see, I swear to God, I saw people spend 50, $100,000 to invent products, 
to um, um, sorry to uh, create products and to pay for advertising, to create web pages and to brand new logos and all that stuff. Instead of doing that, you can take that fifty one hundred thousand dollars and buy literally a multi million dollar business. We're buying a business right now in the UK, an engineering business. And we might need to put like fifty to one hundred thousand dollars of our own pocket, but it's going to buy us like a four or five million dollar pound or a business in the UK, and a very profitable and successful one. Why? Because we can use that business assets and leverage those assets to buy that business, and it's going to basically give us access immediately to funnels that are working. So we don't need to copy, hack, and test different things. We just buy a business with someone who already tested everything for many, many years and it's going to save us so much money. And not, we just, we're not just getting access to the, their funnels, their successful funnels. We're getting access to their successful employees. We're getting access to their successful business fundamentals. If it's finances, if it's operations, if there are R&D development, all of those things. And it's going to cost us literally the same amount of money or even less than it is to test everything internally or by what we mean organic growth. And it's something that I really wish that I knew in the past. I just didn't know that it's even possible to go and buy a business. Like, I remember my first thought about, hey, going and buying a business. First of all, it sounds cool. Everyone want to do it. But you feel like it feels like you need to have millions of dollars in the bank, which just isn't true because you have many financial institutions. And I'm not just talking about regular banks who will give you a lot of that capital to buy those businesses. Obviously, you need to understand the process and make sure you're not making mistakes because uh, just an example, I see many people who sign personal guarantees on every um, loan that they take to buy businesses and that can be a very, um, what's the word I'm looking for, very crucial mistake if you're not buying the right business. I hope that makes sense because if you buy the wrong business, if you screw with the, even just the paperwork, you can make a lot of mistakes. So you got to understand the process and know what you're dealing with. And obviously, you need to know what kind of offers you need to make on those businesses and how to make sure that the loans that you're taking are not going to destroy your business. And I hope that makes sense. So those are my thoughts on copy your competitors. I think just go and buy a business who already tested everything instead of you testing and copying other funnels. So. Yeah, that's it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to explore if growing by acquisitions, if buying businesses is for you, go to moanpaber.com forward slash talk. Me and my team were involved in more than 300 deals and we are happy to have a, a call with you for free and figure out if growing by acquisitions is for you. If it is, we'll show you how. And if it's not, we'll send you to someone else who could potentially help you to achieve your outcome. So either way, we just want to add some value and give you some clarity about your existing business and situation. So go and do that. And otherwise, I hope you enjoyed it. Like, subscribe, comment below and see the links in the description below. Uh, you can join our free mastermind on Facebook and you can send me ideas for videos. So yeah, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you soon.